others are there or or kind of what have been your experiences with being in community or in relation with other two-spirit queer people it's been transformative like it's <laughs> It's like, it's not having to negotiate any part of me and it's not having to like, you know, if I go in, into a, a queer space and gender is asked, like, I'm like, okay, I'm, I'm queer, I'm genderqueer, I'm non-binary, like, I've gone through, like, mm -hmm. maybe in some places I'm trans, I'm not trans enough to identify trans, like, all the things, but then to, like, be in a space where, like, it's not just about, like, this physical body, it's not just about this, right. like, presentation, it's, like, the way we carry the elements within us the way that we understand and we flow and like I just like feeling a really deep medicine that like being at this table and having this conversation with you like it's it is it's it's being in a space that acknowledges you and, and on this other this level of, and like that teaches you ways that that are affirming of like that you are like you're like you exist like you actually exist here and like you like and like for me like always it's been like a thing of like you know i've always dealt with like realities i'm crazy like i'm making these things like mm -hmm. from from a young age you know too of, but then to be in a space that like i think that the the like yeah going from also circles that like i remember when i was in Dominican republic feeling really excited that i was going to be able to ride in the car down to the like down to the, the caves with two elders and one of them identified as like queer and mm, they had a partner mm -hmm. and I think that they like I read somewhere they were like they were into gender studies and like I was mm. like oh maybe they're not like like, like trans like I didn't know and asking about two spirit and one of the elders being like oh we're all two spirit and just like being like we all have that within us and it like it just kind of feeling like okay we have all these like it was very binary still but I was yeah. like no but like and at the time I like I did not know how to express I was like no like what about like like what we would call trans like I was just so yeah. like, I was met with this answer and I can't remember what they said and I was just like like I just felt it in my gut of like this isn't this isn't exactly what you think it is and that's yeah. okay but like you're in there's like again like that kind of respect level like not questioning and yeah 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 and then finding the circle at UT like the dance circle where it was like being in the MEC with like queer and trans people who also were also in NAC, like the Kupa, like QT Paka, I don't know what it's called now, QT Paka, and NAC, and, and like that's where I was like, oh my gosh, they like they hold all of these spaces, mm -hmm. like we're all like, and seeing that, um, and then being in the circles where I remember when we went to that my first medicine ceremony, and like the fact that y'all had a conversation of like there's going to be rules here's elders mm. there's like know that like it's acknowledged but like maybe not on the way like, ha like even having a conversation of like just was like oh my like to have a conversation I didn't know that I needed to have to feel safe was really and like so yeah. those things come with like sharing space with other queer yeah. two spirit folks and and just like all the knowledge that comes that they hold that they're like it's, like we're always teaching each other so and I think that's like why I've come and there was like you know I think in from the circles that I came there was always critique about like once you start in a kapuli like that's your kapuli you're not supposed to leave yeah but never really wanting to like commit and feeling a lot of shame because and then finding groups of being like oh like I am whole here like all of my queerness and I don't even like the, the words aren't even right like gender and queer like yeah. and sexuality those aren't don't even encompass it but like here it, it exists and it's acknowledged and it's real and we're like we all hold it and mm -hmm. we hold each other and yeah and that was just that's I think why I keep coming back it might not like be the most um, involved I still like you know like I don't I think there's still a lot of shame I carry about like not having like family history like, just not being able to claim these yeah. things in the way that a lot of like strong leaders do you know like mm -hmm. um, but that's I, like I come back because it's like this there are places that this can exist and yeah. you can be held. Like, I've seen it. I know it. I'm a part of it. <laughs> and, like, my standards are just, like, totally different now. Yeah, Like, yeah. because I know that it's there and I know that it... And other places will may, have you believe that it's... That there's still a way that things can be done and that those binaries exist. And yeah. um, that's okay. Like, 
maybe they, like I don't know they get to that part like maybe they do and they need to and they're things but like also there are spaces that like are complete and whole and like are people that I know yeah yeah and like places are being built and created and have existed mm -hmm. and going to my first I remember the class at UT like I remember all of the like Christian would bring in a bunch of like quotes from two spirit folks and queer indigenous folks and one of them being candy brings plenty and I remember going to my like creating change and knowing that she was going to do a workshop and being like I have to go and then just realizing that it was beyond it there's more just outside of of like the dancer group like and then following y'all when y'all went to the Black Hill like when you it was you and Madeline and some other folks went up to the Black Hills uh, oh, to South Dakota? Yeah. I have not been. No, but I think it, I think it was, might have been Jose. Okay. Again, I didn't know folks at the time very well. Like, I was always kind of watching and just like, Martin yeah, yeah, was yeah. always my like. I Your reference of, point. <laughs> yeah. Like, like, like always. Yeah. It's like weird to say. Um, but like, knowing that there was a two-spirit camp out there and like reading that article in my class of like, two-spirit camps exist and like, there are places that really honor that whatever that looks like in different spaces yeah. and just being like okay like it's not just this this group of like because it's easy to feel like weird and crazy and i have my own internalized things obviously i hold a lot still but no it's like i I've, I've come back and that's why i want to keep coming to spaces because it does it's like before that it's like every time you learn something new there's another p new piece of you yeah. and once you get a new piece it like it's like another piece is ignored or like you have to let go of it and mm. it's finally like oh this deep pain that you're feeling like there's a trauma that we believe in like and there's a trauma yeah. like, we believe in these things and like so it just became more whole yeah did you go to that there was a a sweat lodge at Yolanda's that was like for two spirit queer. queer went, did we? Did you go to that one? I think that um, she. I think I know. I went to Madeline's going away one. Yes. And there were a lot of like two spirit queer yeah. folks there. Yes. Okay, cause I swear I thought you were. I think I want to say what is. Cause it was from like there was people from Denver visiting. There was people out of town like that were from Denver that were visiting and we had a sweat because a lot of them were like two spirit queer folks. I were don't you? No. Don't I, I maybe I, I, there, I maybe there are times ah. like where I used to get I used to like especially in the beginning I mean I still do, like I still like I used to get so anxious that I didn't belong in those spaces. Mm -hmm. Like I still wanted to go and I was still called and I knew in ceremony like while we were praying like all of that was gone and I knew that like I always left feeling better but like getting like getting myself to those places and even like into mm. the actual ceremony my anxiety was so high like I just I I always felt like I didn't like I wasn't like I didn't belong like I didn't have a right to be there yeah especially like when I was talking about like Kim's class like I remember just having that conversation and them talking about like blood quantum and like all of those things and just being like it's like uh, yeah, I so just like always feeling like I wasn't, I didn't have a right to be there. Yet. Yeah, like a kind of like a perpetual outsider type of thing. Yeah. But you know what's funny when you say that? Because there's white people that be going to these ceremonies. Yeah, and I, and I like, but, but even, like, I, them, <laughs> even they can claim like my father and my grandmother, like they have like, for me, like that, that familial, like that lineage, like I just felt like I was like, I, I don't even have that. Yeah. So I didn't even, like, it just didn't, yeah, I've never felt like I had the right to be there. Yeah. I will say those white people, though, that do go, don't have <laughs> any type of Cherokee or whatever. They <laughs> right? No, like, right, but, like, no one, right. Yeah, you're like, no one knows it, but that's so interesting that you bring that up because I guarantee you that those white folks never think twice about, or that, or that thought does, doesn't come to their heads. So it's been interesting, like, seeing, you know, white folks in these spaces, because, like, you know, there's literally, like, indigenous, indigenous descended people, you know, like you, who are, like, are from the, the border, the, the, that's where the medicine grows. You know, you are from the place where peyote grows. 
you know? I realized that. You, like, you I know, made that connection. You know, you are where.